let's go ahead and save, do a save as for this, save as for web and devices. Go back to our window here and for this one I have a, a, my preset is a JPEG preset and it's set to maximum and if you look at the file size it'll show you 2.985 kilobytes for this image. Let's go ahead and uh, select because this uh, this image does not have that much colors on it and there are, there are no lot of uh, not a lot of shades going on it's better to save this as a GIF file select the GIF option and then right here you have the color table for the GIF file right now if you go up here it's show you the colors it's using 32 colors right now and you can use like any amount of colors 32, 64, 128, 256 is the maximum allowed for a GIF file. Let's then go back here and let me look at my file size right now for 32 bit colors for this image. I'm going down to my file size and this file size is a lot, a lot. Um, less than uh, saving as a JPEG because saving as a JPEG gives you uh, I believe it's uh, 1.25 kilobytes and this one only gives me 822 kilobytes and the file looks absolutely no different than the JPEG. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's see reduce the colors a little bit maybe go to 16 colors I see a little difference, not too much. Again, let's go back to our uh, file size. Now it's showing us uh, 586 bytes for this file. Now that's a pretty good size and I don't see a, a color shift or color uh, any difference in color between the 16 colors which I have selected right now and the 32 colors I had selected before. Uh, and one more thing, when you uh, select these colors your color table down here will sh display the colors that are actually being used for that image. So for example if you're using 128 it will show you the rest of the uh, remaining colors. 256, same. and. Um, Right now, we're just going to save this uh, with uh, 16 colors. Uh, like I say, it's all up to you. It's all um, for um, depends on your target audience or what kind of a connection they use. But in general, if you have a lot of uh, if you have a lot of colors, uh, a lot of shading, and uh, the image is a big image, and uh, you have a lot of stuff going on in the image, it's better to do uh, just save the file as a, a JPEG file. Uh, on the other hand, if you have a smaller image or a thumbnail or an icon with less colors, go ahead and do a save and save it as a GIF file. And that way you can uh, optimize uh, color palettes for various different images. Oh, and one more thing uh, for uh, if you have transparency on your files and you want to keep the transparency, uh, GIF files support some transparency but not all the way. Um, if you want transparency, uh, it's better to go with. Uh, a PNG file. A PNG uh, file will retain a full transparency of your uh, images. And uh, by the way, PNG files require a lot uh, bigger file sizes, so keep that in mind when you uh, save your files in PNG. Uh, you can keep your transparency, but uh, like with shadows, if you want to keep shadows uh, for certain images and you want to keep that transparency, um, you can save it as a PNG, but 
keep in mind your file sizes will be a lot bigger than your GIF counterparts so you can do comparisons and see which one you prefer okay well that's about it that's a small tutorial on how to save your images to your website and get it get them optimized uh, I'm just gonna leave you right now and uh, you can try this in your spare time um, see what works out for you uh, and I will see you on another podcast Bye.